the win over the US set the Chopperoos up for a showdown against Canada. They were the team that the Chopperoos beat the previous year to earn a third place. Delosis threw, Hewitt needed one more swing. Oh, wow, that was close. And there would be no doubt that memory would be in the back of everyone's mind. Well, the this race coming up is going to be all out. They don't leave anything out there, so you're going to have to bring everything you got because that's what the race is, it's the finals. For the Chopperoos, that finals focus has led them to this point, and for standing block anchor Dale Beams, that focus wasn't going to let anything come between his job and the trophy. No, I've got this philosophy, you go in there and you do everything with no regrets. My focus was on one thing only, and that was cutting standing blocks. And no matter what happens in the race beforehand, before there, it's balls to the wall and go for it. In stock saw, Sterling Hart going head to head with Brad DeLosa. Looking good for both of these gentlemen as these saws come through that cookie pretty evenly. Both of them hit the ground at the same time. Moving on to the underhand chop for the Canadians, Marcel Dupuis. For the Australians, Brent Reese. And we saw how solid Brent Reese was before. Both of them turning to the other side pretty much at the same time. And it's Brent Reese getting through just ahead of Marcel Dupuis. Lawrence O'Toole now takes over for the Australians on single buck, looking very good. However, he's going up against Canada's J.P. Mercier, who has a ton of experience and is so solid here. Let's see if the Canadians can catch up. It's looking pretty good for them, and it looks like they're going to drop the cookie first. Moving over to Mitch Hewitt for the Canadians on standing block, and Dale Beams for the Australians. Hewitt already over to the other side. Oh, the tension is mounting. Beams now moves over to the other side. Will it be Canada? Will it be Australia? The time is running. Oh, and a final massive blow by Beams gets Australia through in 56.80, just ahead of the Canadians, who made it in 57.91. Fantastic! Yeah, bringing home the winners, it's, it's not a one-person thing, it's a team thing. We all had a job to do, and we did it. I didn't perform as well as I hoped to myself, but I was fortunate enough that we had a great team that could sort of cover a few mistakes, and the boys, just a pleasure to compete with, so it's great. And the new world champions are Team Australia. Yeah, once again, I think we're just a little bit lucky to win there, to be honest. I mean, we never come up against New Zealand. They got a time penalty early on in one of the rounds and got beaten. So that just opened the door for us to walk right through. When we won that year, came back home and told everyone about it. And from then on, everybody wanted to get into Timber Sports and that sort of put Timber Sports on the map for Australia.